violin here, a couple of violinists. Put a big smile on your face, show them that you're having fun. <laughs> Flutist, I think a clarinet flute, I'm not sure, a drummer over there. Keyboard, another drummer. We love two drummers at the same time. Show them the fancy stuff, get into it. You know how to throw your sticks in the air while you... Oh! <laughs> Great! Tempo slows, they are on every, this is called hitting the note. You're a musician, you know what I mean. They are dialed in, that's what it is. Tempo slows. For these two, huh? Big, big finish now. Big finish. And sleep now. Way down deep. Way down deep. Forget about that. Forget about that. Listen to me carefully. For the rest of the show, anytime I say the word sleep to you, or if I point my finger to your forehead and say the word sleep, or sprinkle magic sleep dust over your head, instantly you go back into hypnosis. Now that means your eyelids close, you collapse right in the chair. If you understand that, no idea, yes for me. Anytime I say the word sleep to you, shake your hand, or maybe just look at you with my funny look, and go back into hypnosis. Now for the rest of the show, you deny being in hypnosis. No matter how many times I ask you, you keep saying it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. However, everything will work. If you understand that, no idea, yes for me. One, two, three, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Okay, no sleeping, please. Could you sit over there towards the middle? Eyes open, eyes open. Please, no sleeping during the show. How about a round of applause? Are they doing pretty good? You guys slide down, just slide down. I just, uh, for the benefit of the audience, some of you, most of you are probably strangers, but just for the benefit, your first name is what? Georgia. Georgia, nice to meet you. Did you get hypnotized? No. Your first name, sir? Kyle. Kyle nice to meet you. How long do you think you've been up here? A couple, take a guess, how many minutes? About three minutes. Three minutes, sure. Your first name? Shannon. Shannon, nice to meet you. You got hypnotized, right? No. Just playing the musician and all that stuff? No? No. Okay. You got hypnotized. Your first name? Jenna. You think you did? <laughs> sure. Up, and your first name? Mary. Mary, this is Mary. And did you get hypnotized, Mary? Yes. Yeah. How do you know? I just feel this heavy cloud over me. Hell it out, what? I just feel a heaviness over me, like unaware of everything else. That's... And do you hear a bell ringing at the same time? <laughs> yes, I do hear a bell ringing. It's good. Only she is. Your first name? Danielle. Danielle, nice to meet you. Did you get hypnotized? No. Didn't work for you? No. You don't remember uh, being on the bus and famous musicians and all that? No. Didn't work. <laughs> well, anyways, um, let's do this. Sit back in your chair. See that? Can you see the clock up there? The hands on the clock? Look at that clock. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, all the way in. Look at that clock. Take a nice deep breath. Back in the chair and sleep now. Way down, right down here. <laughs> You're probably saying, that's not going to happen to me, right? No way. See that clock up there? Deep, deep breath all the way in, all the way in. And sleep now. Way down deep. That's good. <laughs> um, see the clock? Look at the face on the clock. Deep breath all the way in, all the way in. Even more. Even more. Exhale and sleep now. Way down deep. Oh, that's good. That's good. It, Mary, right? Mary. You already got hypnotized. Sleep way down deep. That's good. And uh, you can see the clock. Deep breath all the way in, all the way in, even more. Exhale and sleep now way down deep. Loose and limp and relax. Make some noise for them. These are the stars of your show. And without any volunteers, there would be no show. And if you got you up here early and you didn't quite get into it, don't worry about it. Some people take longer than others. It doesn't mean you can't do it. Maybe it wasn't your day, your day or your night or whatever. But just try again. Also, think about clinical hypnosis. If you want to make a change in your life, you want to stop smoking, stop biting your nails, be a better student, sleep better, it's possible to do that with hypnosis. Possible, I say. Some people go into surgery, I think I mentioned that earlier, no anesthesia, and not feel the pain. That's beautiful. I'll tell you more about that later. Wow, what a nice crowd. Everybody sit up straight, sit up straight. Keep your eyelids closed, I've got good news for you. Paramount Studios is here in West Springfield at the Big E. They're filming a movie right here at the fair. 
And you're a finalist. We started with 400 people this morning. We're down to about six. They're going to pick one man, one woman. Here's the deal. If you're lucky and you get picked, you will earn $10 million a week for 14 weeks. Do the math. If you're a man, you get to pick your favorite Hollywood actress. Anybody you want, you'll be up close. If you're a woman, you get to pick your favorite Hollywood actor. Anybody you want. Now, this is a test of facial expressions, but I need to find out what actor or actress you want to work with to make sure we don't have any double bookings. Just the person I'm touching now. Who do you want to work with? George Clooney. Yell it out. George Clooney. He's here, too. That's cool. Person I'm touching now, nice and loud. Who do you want to work with? Jamie. Jamie who? From Outlander. Oh. Jamie from Outlander? Person I'm touching now, who do you pick? Do you have a favorite actress or an actor? Um, uh, I have no idea. Okay, that's all right. How about you? Who do you want to be with? The Rock. The Rock? Ah. ah. <laughs> Sir, who did you pick? Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Oh. J-Lo. Can you, can you handle being up close to her? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> who did you pick? I don't know. No, no. Well, here's the deal. All your favorites are here, but this is a test of facial expressions. Keep your heads up high, eyelids closed. I call the expression, you do it with your faces. But here's a tip. You really want to win? Exaggerate the expression. Do it 10 times, 20 times more than normal. Here's the first one. Heads up high. Keep your eyelids closed. The camera's rolling. Show them what you would look like. If you were angry, you're mad, you ticked off, you're livid. You are irritated. Put on an angry face. Come on. Really get mad. Keep your head up high for the camera. Oh, I mean, irritated. Okay, cut. That's good. That's good. Here's the next one. Show them happiness. Happy, 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 happy. Happy. I mean, super happy. I mean, ecstatic happy. That's right. Okay, cut. Here's the next one. Never been done before. But you can do it. On the count of three, not yet, but on three, make the left side of your face angry, and at the same time, the right side of your face happy, like Two-Face. One, two, and three, go. Angry and happy. Oh, we have some great, great, great contestants. Angry and, oh, this is good. Angry and happy. Oh my God, that's good, that's good. Okay, relax, here's the next one. Use your fingers for the claws and show us your teeth for fangs, what you would look like if you were Count Dracula, you're the vampire! Ah. Dracula, make the sound and everything, Dracula! Ah. Ah, show us the claws and the teeth of fangs, Dracula! Okay, cut, that's good, here's another one. Show us what you would look like if you were a goldfish swimming around in a big goldfish bowl, go. Just cruising and swimming, cruising and swimming. Just swing around, cruising and swimming, swimming and cruising. Here comes some food sinking down from above. Suck that food in. There's other fish here. You gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. There's fish here. Other fish. Eat that food. Eat that food. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Okay, cut. That's good. You are good. You've gone to the next level. Here's the next one. Show them what you would look like if you were out on the farm and you're milking the cow. Go. Milk the cow. Milk, milk, milk. Uh, milk that cow, come on, it's a dirty job, watch out for that tail. Uh, show us what you would look like if you were milking the world's smallest cow. He's only six inches tall. Little teeny, meeny, tiny, little, little thing. Now the world's largest cow, ten feet tall. Gigantic thing, this thing is huge. Come on, milk that giant cow. Oh. Milk, 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 lots of milk, lots of milk, lots of milk. All right, forget about that and sleep now. Forget about that. We'll have the results of the testing later, but go much deeper and forget about everything that we've done except going deeper. Now, I have something special for you. For the rest of the show, again, anytime I say the word sleep to you, you go back into hypnosis instantly, and it feels better every time you go back into it. You deny being hypnotized. No matter how many times I ask you, you keep saying it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work, it didn't work. However, everything will work. Now here's the most important thing. When you open your eyes in just a moment, not yet, but when you open your eyes on the count of three, you look down at your stomach area right away, and you'll be surprised, shocked, and concerned because no matter how hard you try, you cannot see or find your belly button. It's gone. It's gone. No matter how hard you try, you can't see or find it. Now this is a serious matter. So you are serious about this. 
If I ask you, what do you need it for, you make up some weird answer. The crazier the answer, the better your chances are of being in the show, of being in the movies. If you understand that, no idea heard yes for me. Now, one more thing. This is just for the person I'm touching now. No idea heard yes for me, sir? For the rest of the show, sir, anytime I touch you on the face, the nose, the cheek, the chin, the forehead, anywhere in the face, the moment I touch you there, the instant I touch you there, you think you have a little scratch, and immediately you'll ask me for a Band-Aid. And you put that Band-Aid right on that spot. If I'm talking to somebody, you'll interrupt me. Excuse me, I need a Band-Aid. If you've got that nod, you hit yes for me. That's just for you, sir. Now, on the count of three, your eyelids pop open, belly button's gone, and you react accordingly. One, two, three, eyes open and look. Oh, boy. Not good. <laughs> this is not, oh, not good. <laughs> this is not, it's gone. Gone, gone, gone. A little bit of a problem here. It took a few seconds to kick in. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Would you stand up for a second? What's your first name? Danielle. Danielle, we met earlier. What's with the stomach? What's going on? My belly button's gone. Yell that out, what? My belly button's gone. Gone. Did you have it this morning? I think so. All right, well, what do you need it for? How I sing. It's how you sing. You sing through the belly button. It comes up that way. It's amazing. <laughs> I'll see if I can get it back for you. That's crazy. Eyes open, everybody. Eyes open. Is it Mary? Stand up for a second. Have a seat, Daniel. Mary, um, what's the problem? I don't have a belly button. Is that a problem? I need a belly button. I, it's not a problem. I just don't have a belly button. What do you? Why do you want it back? What do you do with it? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Have a seat. Have a seat. You need to just come around here. This is crazy. I don't know why everybody has the same problem. This is unbelievable. Um, what do you need your belly button for? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you do with it? And it's just there. It's just there. What do you need? What do you need yours for? If you have kids someday. Yell it out, what? You have kids someday. Okay. What do you need yours for? Brew coffee. For what? Brew coffee. Brew coffee! <laughs> do you do dark roast? Because that's my favorite. Like strong dark roast? I think it's a dark roast. Yeah, well, not, no. I have, a, I have an accent. I say coffee. Um, do you do dark roast? Yes. Okay, that's good. What do you need your belly button for, sir? Uh, it's my business partner. <laughs> we need to find out about this. Stand up for a second, sir. Um, right there. Um, so you said your business partner. What's that? I didn't hear you. I need a band-aid. What's the magic word? Now? Now, please. <laughs> now, now, please is good. Here you go. I don't know why a hypnotist has band-aids, but I do. Um, wait, don't sit down. Put the band-aid on, because I'm going to finish your question. You have to take the sticker off, the back. First time using a band-aid, I guess. Okay, um, explain the business partner part of that. We work together. What do you do? We sing. Sing. She has the same thing. Have a seat, that's crazy. So wait, you all have the same problem. Look at me. When I snap my fingers, for some strange reason, you got the wrong belly button. You've got somebody else's, and this is worse than not even having one. Check it out. That's not... <laughs> Sir, you have a diamond piercing. You have one of the female's belly buttons. Do you like it? No. And that... <laughs> that's not yours. That's a man's. It sticks out. It's an Audi. It's hairy, and it smells. That's gross. I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like it. Mary, that's not yours. Way to go. You got one, but I don't think that's yours. It's not mine. Not yours, not yours. All right, let's do this. What a nice crowd. Thank you for coming by. There's another show tonight at 6.30, and three shows a day, by the way, so please come back, tell your friends about it. Different people in the show, you might want to be in the next one. Um, look at me, when I snap my fingers, you have a belly button, your own belly button, a big smile on your face. Check it out, check it out, check it out. You good? You're good. Everybody good? What's your first name, sir? Kyle. Kyle, you stay away, Kyle, okay? Everybody else, look at me.
Right in. Deep breath, deep breath, all the way in, all the way in, and sleep now. Way down deep, way down deep, way down deep. How about a nice round of applause for them? Everybody's back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> look, they're sleeping. <laughs> kind of funny. You can't stop laughing now. They're sleeping. Just the person I'm touching now, slide over to your left. Slide over to your left. Just go right there. Kyle is sleeping in the middle of the show, in the middle of the afternoon. Is this crazy or what? <laughs> you're, you're starting to laugh now. Is that funny? <laughs> look at me, Kyle. And sleep now. Way down deep. Way down deep. <laughs> Give them all a nice round of applause. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, so forget about that. Now listen, in a moment, when you hear me say the word microphone, not yet, but when you hear me say the word microphone, in a moment, you're gonna feel the worst itch you've ever felt in your life. The problem is it's in the middle of your back. It's right in that spot where you cannot reach. You'll try like heck to reach it, but you won't be able to. And if I say that word microphone, it gets worse and worse and worse. When you open your eyes and you hear me say that word, the itch will appear and it is strong. If you understand that, nod your head yes for me. One, two, three, wide awake, wakey, wakey. Would you all stand up? Everybody stand up, spread your feet, maintain perfect balance. I just want to talk to the eyes open, everybody. Um, maintain perfect balance. Thank you very much for coming to see the show. Um, where's Shaggy? He's back here. He's uh, our MC. There he is. There, a lot of you know Shaggy. He's a... Uh, running the stage this weekend and he's the MC here, he's a great guy and also provided me with a handheld wireless cordless microphone. Oh, microphone, microphone, microphone. Oh, oh microphone, 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 microphone. Microphone, 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 microphone. Oh my god, microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone. Microphone, microphone. Oh, microphone, 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 oh my god, microphone, microphone, oh, oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, take a seat, you got it, you got it, now I think I know why that happened, when we're setting up the stage, did you ever hear of itching powder, like you had at the mag magic store, there's a powder you put down people's backs and they start itching, I think some of these people out here went to the magic store and put it on your seat, now, you guys are good. Can you tell by just looking at their faces who might have done that? Do you have an idea, sir? I think there's the one uh, sitting in the middle there. With the camera, you mean? Yeah, the one that's phone. The one that's what? On the phone. Yeah, look at the smirk on his face. He thinks he's funny. Hey. You think you know? Stand up. Who do you think did it? Woman in the green shirt, the man in the blue shirt. Uh, what? How do you know? I, I don't know her facial expression. Guilty, right? All over her face. Do you have any idea who did it? Like high right there, but orange. Orange, yeah. Look at him. He's not. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, who did it? You know? This lady here, she's scratching. Oh, by putting the powder, she got some of it on her own hand. Guilty. <laughs> Danielle, is that right? You got an eyeball on somebody? Cool. That guy right there? Which one? The one was taping us like it's funny. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. He did it. Okay. What do you want to say to him? Why'd you do that? It's not funny. It's not funny. How would he like it, you know? So you hope your back's itchy. It's not fun pulling cranks like that. Who got hypnotized today? Anybody? No, no, no. All right, let's do this. All right. Right there. Okay. So. All right. Now. What? Oh my God. Here you are, sir. Here you are. Hurry up. We're running out of time. I don't know what this band-aid thing is. Maybe we need first aid here or something. It's crazy. <laughs> Does he look good? Does he look good? Let me see. Okay, that's good. What's that? It's a it's a band-aid around. Yeah, he had a little scratch. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, what about? Okay, right there. So we're gonna continue in just one moment. What is it? I got a scratch. There you go. Hurry up. While we're young. 
I need a band-aid, I need a band-aid every time I get a scratch. What's the, what's the big deal? I don't know, he seems a little mature. <laughs> he needs to suck it up. Exactly. Every time I get a scratch, a band-aid? A little babyish. What is that? It's a little babyish. Babyish, yeah. All right, sit back in your chairs. You're fine, sir. You look great. At least we stopped the scratching and all that stuff. Sit back in your chairs, take a deep breath. Look right here and sleep now. Way down deep, way down deep, way down deep. Everybody go deeper, deep, relax. This is just for the person I'm touching now, wide awake. In fact, everybody, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Come on up here for a second. Come on up here. Stand right there. That's the trap door. Good. Okay. <laughs> you got that. Uh, what's your first name? Shannon. Shannon. Where are you from? Connecticut. Oh, nice. Connecticut, right down the road. We love Connecticut. Um, you with some people? I'm with that person. Ah, he's, he's rolling film. I think so. Yeah. That's cool. Um, you're wide awake, right? Yes. Did you get hypnotized? No. Watch my fingers. When they touch, the number six is gone from your memory. It does not exist. There's nothing between five and seven. When you count, you count one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards would be 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can't think of anything between 5 and 7. It's gone until I give it back to you. Um, okay, Shannon, right? Yes. Okay. Hold out your hands, both of them like that. Good. I'm going to touch each finger. You're going to count. I might go fast, so keep up with me. And be loud, like this one. Okay, with a big crew group here. Um, nice and loud. Keep up with me. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Ten. You said eleven. Ten. Ten. Okay. Let's try it again. Maybe it was a mistake. Start on this side. Here we go. Nice and loud. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have an extra finger. Do you want that? Prefer not to. Okay. <laughs> eleven fingers. This is crazy. Um, let's do one hand at a time. That, that's just like one through five, one through five. Okay, ready? Hold them both out. Go. Two, three, four, five. One, One two, three, four, five. Five and five? Ten. Okay. I don't know what the problem is. Let's start with ten and go backwards. Ready? This is ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. How'd that work? Nothing, be nothing between five and seven. Nothing. Zip, nothing between it. You what? Don't have eleven fingers. Well, let's count and find out. Let's verify. I mean, I believe you, but I just want to double check. Ready? Go. Ten. So go from one. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven. Put those down. Are you good at small math, like simple numbers, easy numbers? Yes. How much is like two plus two? Four. Okay, good. Four plus four? Eight. Three plus three? Seven. She's so quick. It's like a human calculator. How do you do it? Are you a mathematician? No. No? No. How about, um, let's do it again. Ten minus two? Eight. And uh, nine minus three? Seven. Seven. Right on the money. So, mate, did you get hypnotized? Open your eyes. Hypnotized? No. Okay. When my fingers touch, the number six is back in your memory. You will never, ever forget it as long as you live. Count from one to ten for the audience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. How come you didn't say that before? I did. You did. Of course you did. Now, um, you're wide awake. Not hypnotized, right? No. For some strange reason, before you sit down, your left foot is super glued to the floor. It's stuck there. No force on earth could move it. Not me, not you, nobody. It's stuck there. So if you would, um, Shannon, is that right? Shannon, can you go back to your chair because we're almost out of time. We need to finish up. Give Shannon a nice round of applause. Okay, come on back. We need to finish up. Come on back, Shannon. Sit right here if you would. Hurry up, we're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> you got hypnotized, right? N <laughs> You're not hypnotized? No. Face the audience. Say yes or no? No. Why do we? Yes. What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> See, you, you, your left leg is back to normal, except it's a wooden leg. It's like a pirate's leg, peg leg. You can walk, and uh, you'll be balanced. But it's a wooden leg, so go back to your chair if you would. If you would, wood, wooden leg. <laughs> is that good or what? Give her a nice round of applause. Now that is real good when the leg sticks up like that. That is a very good deep hypnotic subject. And it's good to be able to go deep in hypnosis. It's a good thing. 
And if you go to my website, um, there are audio programs that you can purchase for stop smoking, weight control, on. They're $20 a piece. Up until this year, we were selling them at the fairs for $10 each. I've got even a better offer. This year at the fairs, this is a thumb drive. This goes into your computer. I have six programs on here, six audios for $20. They used to be $10 each. We have stop smoking, we have weight control, we have confidence, relaxation and better sleep. We have academics and athletics for students or adults who are into sports or studying. And there's one other on there too. Six of them, and you listen to them as you fall asleep at night. Now if it's not for you, maybe for your son, your daughter, your uncle, whatever, brother, and you can put this on your phone, you can put it anywhere. You can burn a disc. But you want to listen to it as you fall asleep at night because we go through hypnosis on the way to sleep. I'll be back here under the gazebo for a few minutes. Come see me afterwards if you're interested. It's a deal, six of them for $20. Uh, oh, the leg, <laughs> your leg's back to normal. Back to normal, there it is, okay. It was stuck or something? What was going on there? I don't know, okay. Sit back in your chairs, legs back to normal. And you've got the number six forever. Everybody sleep way down deep, one more time, way down deep. Forget about everything we've done except this. All of you now are part of my world famous dance team. You love to dance. You can do any dance that I call for. Now the deal is this, safety's number one. You dance, you respect each other, you always face the audience when you dance, you're aware of the edge of the stage, always face the audience because they're looking at you. But now I want you to show them the fancy stuff. You are an expert, you can do any dance that I call for. When you open your eyes, you become part of my world famous dance team. One, two, three, eyes open, wide awake, wide awake. Would you all stand up? Everybody stand up, spread your feet, maintain perfect balance. How about a nice round of applause for our dancers? Now we have gathered the most beautiful ladies in the world, the most handsome man we could find. Well, no, you are. <laughs> We're gonna do a few numbers for you. If you see something you like, let them know with applause. And entertainers love applause. Now, you spent time in New York City learning this next dance, you were with the Philharmonic or somebody. You were there for, was it two or three weeks in Manhattan? Three. Three weeks, so thank you. So let's show them what you did in, in uh, New York City. Let's start out with the beautiful tap dance. Go, the tap. And they love applause, folks. Look at this, little soft shoe, that's great. That's nice, beautiful, beautiful. That's awesome. Beautiful. Okay, cut. Relax for a moment. Now this next dance is from Hawaii. Oh, God. You folks spent a lot of time in Hawaii in the rainforest. Now was that six or seven weeks in the rainforest? Uh, six and a half. Six and a half, okay. <laughs> now you saw in the rainforest all the monkeys and the trees and everything? Yes. Is it beautiful? It was beautiful. Now put your hands in the air. It's what? It was hot. Very hot, okay. Hands in the air. This next dance is a dance of the hands and the hips. Show them the beautiful hula dance, the hula. See, it's a dance of the hands and the hips. That's great. Look at that. The hands and the hips tell the story. So with your hands dancing, show them the setting sun. The setting sun. Show them the rising sun. Show them the rolling waves you saw along the seashore. That's awesome, that's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, you're our lead dancer. Come on right out here, sir. Watch this, watch this, watch. You're really gonna get into it now. Show them the fancy stuff. Yeah, check that out, huh? That's right. Okay, cut, get back in line. One more dance. This dance is uh, a favorite of the, of the man and all the ladies, too. Up on your tippy toes, very safe. The beautiful, lovely ballet. There it is. Eyes open, everybody, eyes open. That's great, oh, they are great. Look at Mary. Mary's great. Eyes open, Mary. Big finish now, big finish. Right out front. Do that little twirl thing, yep. Do that twirl thing you did.
beautiful dancers, the Big E. Have a seat one more time. Have a seat one more time. One more time. One more time. And oh, that popcorn smells good. We have kettle corn right back here. You got everything at the fair. It's great. I can't wait to try the pierogies. I'm half Polish, you know? Um, take a deep breath one more time and sleep now. Way down deep, way down deep, way down deep. When they stand up in just a moment, wait till they stand up. Give them the thunderous round of applause they deserve because without them, there wouldn't have been a show. On the count of five, you'll all be wide awake feeling amazing. I mean, amazing. Feeling better than you felt in a while. Free of stress, calm and relaxed, peaceful. You'll have plenty of energy for the rest of the day, whatever you're doing. And whatever, whenever you decide to go to sleep, you'll fall asleep fast and deep. Whatever your goal is in life, and this is for everybody here, picture it in your mind, feel it in your heart. Want it to happen, let it happen, and watch it happen. Visualize what you want to change. We move towards our thoughts. The last thing is to feel good about yourself. Everybody here is a good person, I mean that. It's important. When you feel good about yourself, you can do anything, right? When you don't feel good, sometimes you can't tie your own shoes. So it's important to feel good. Everybody here is a good person. On the count of five, be wide awake, feeling absolutely amazing. Here we go. One coming up out of it, feeling very, very good. Two, your mind is clear and alert. Clear and alert. Three, take a nice deep breath now. Four, let energy surge into your body. And five, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake, completely out of hypnosis, wide awake, wide awake, refreshed. Would you all stand up? There they are, folks. Stars of your show. Thank you for coming up. You guys can go back. Thank you very much. Stairs are right there.